What is happening, y'all? Welcome back, and it's time to tackle the Royal Capital. So we're going to be starting from the East Capital Rampart, Grace. Uh, it's just down the path from the Capital Rampart if you don't have it for some reason. Of course, uh, we just walked on over here. I'm pretty sure we actually showed the route, but we also should have this Grace already from the early teleport and deep root depths. Uh, but anyway, from here, this place is pretty easy. And to be honest, this is probably going to be an easier experience than what we did in Upper Kaled. Uh, through here, you're going to find a lot of like smithing sixes and whatnot. But the boss in this area at the end is worth 120,000 runes, which is more than any other enemy we've killed thus far, which is why I wanted to save it until now. Uh, so yes, this is the Royal Capital. Definitely the biggest of the legacy dungeons, a lot of ground to cover. So let's get to it. We got a lot of these little bubbly people. You can just blow them up. They seem like they're harmless, but they will blow little bubbles out of their horns, and those bubbles can hurt a lot. Do not discount the bubbles. Now you can actually farm them for this weapon, and it's not bad. It's a, it's a little hammer, and it does a bubble, so, you know, if you want it, go for it. But the real one is this one. This is the long bubble horn. Now, you can either farm this person for it, or there's a good chance you can get it in co-op, because drop rates are increased in co-op. But that's actually, believe it or not, one of the strongest weapons in the game in terms of its damage output. Uh, the weapon art does like a huge cluster of bubbles against larger enemies. It is absolutely decimating. Uh, but anyway, ignore this gargoyle. Instead, just drop down here. We're going to take a little side path. Right behind here for a page. Cut him down. Grab the smithing stone four and then proceed along. We got some more bubble people. <laughs> I like how that one like did a pirouette right into a backstab. And now later on, we're going to be doing a rooftop route. You start that from right here. Just so when I say we're going back to the rooftop area, it's this spot. From here, we're gonna go on up. Kill you. No. Do not hit me. Get the page garb. And then we'll kill this gargoyle. Pick up the golden room seven. Okay. Go back down. And we got a. Elevator will take down. Page Gargoyle, Smithing 4. I think we grabbed, hold up. Room 10 around the steps. And then a page. And smithing 4, and then another Smithing 4. I think we missed a Smithing 4. Let me just go back and take a look real fast. Uh, killed all that. Did all this. Did that. I may have double wrote Smithing 4, but I want to confirm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we got that. We got that. We're good. Okay. So, yes, we're gonna... After the... We're gonna take the elevator. And these guys will come and attack us later if we don't kill them, so just take them out now. I think these ones are dead. I think it's just those two. Uh, right in here. Kill the perfumer. Kill that guy, and there's one more hiding over here. Grab the preserving boluses, and we'll take this up real fast. Um, right outside here, there's some more enemies, but we're gonna get these ones first. Kill the fumer. Kill that guy. Kill him. There's some more stuff ahead that we're going to fight, but we're going to... It's kind of clean in house first. Okay, so now that they are dead, uh, we want to go up here for a seed bed curse. This should be our second at this point, I believe. Let's see. Second. Okay. Uh, and then... We're going to jump onto this rooftop, jump over to here, and... Nope, hang on, it's the northern roof. Damn it, I went on the wrong roof. That's okay. Let's jump down and we'll go inside here, kill some stuff. 
This is the letter. This will take us right back up. It's like there's two, there's a couple different roof sections actually, but I'm trying to get one of them done now. Kill them. Kill you. Here's that room with that ladder. So let's go back up. It's the northern roof. So we want to jump here and then jump across to this rooftop. Why am I not seeing this loot? Ah, there you are. 7.75. Yeah, because the rest of the rooftop jumps are like we want to start from that rooftop spot I already mentioned. And so we get those from a different area. All right. So there we go. Now we're right back where we came from. There's those perfumers that we killed. Uh, let's see. We got the seabed cursed and then down and around for a page and an upper class robe. We killed them already. We go back up top, circle around, and then we're going to clear out this stuff from below. Now that we got that roof item. So we were out here. We killed the two perfumers. Killed him. This guy, there's a page waiting for us right around this corner. Him out. Grab this. It's easy to tell because the ones that are alive have weapons in hand. And now if you look down, you'll see a knight. Now we don't want that knight. Instead, what we want is an enemy that's right below us. Kill him. And now we'll fight the knight. These guys have very drawn out attacks, which makes them easy backstab bait. That's my suggested way for taking them out. Pick up the McKellas lilies. And now we're just gonna clear out the, the lower portion of this. So go around, we go inside, we have another knight. Don't let him do that thing. He's trying to summon lightning down to hit you. So just don't don't even give him the chance. Uh, let's see. Plunging. Follow around to the left for another night. We'll kill the enemies real fast. So inside. Kill you. And kill you. And kill you. This area is all kind of connected, so if we run out here, uh, you know, this is... Well, we can get this page real fast, too. No more music. Smithing six. Um, if we go back up top, just to kind of pull together where we are, because I know this area can get a little confusing. Let's see, this is the outdoor area. If we go in here, this is that initial room. That's the ladder, just to kind of, you know, pull the picture together. So anyway, head on down. Uh, in this middle room, there's going to be a couple enemies. The page is the deadliest. I would suggest taking him out first. After him, take down the perfumers. Right. Stuck on crap. Go. That's good. Back out. Uh, we'll continue along a little bit to kill this knight. And honestly, your your bigger builds, your quality build, strength builds, you're gonna breeze through this area. Um, the guys that are gonna have more trouble are gonna be our mages, just because you're you don't have the oomph behind your attacks that these melee builds will have. Uh, so right here, this is kind of the, the central area. This is the main road, I guess you could call it. And we're going to be getting to that in a little bit, but for now, just ignore it. We're going to work our way back, and we're going to kill more of these these enemies kind of in the... I guess the best way to describe it would be the southern, the southeastern part of the capital. So head on in here. All right, um, okay. Got that loot, we did that. We're gonna go back up the ladder. 
And real fast, I want to check one guy that I noticed that I don't remember seeing during the prep. So we'll see if this, I think we may have killed him when we were down below, but just let me take a look here. Um, oh, how did I not kill you? Huh. Oh god, I just walked past him. Well, that's fine. Back up the ladder, back up the stairs again. Uh, let's see. Ooh, oh, we gotta go off the balcony, so... What we're gonna do now is head on over there. It's the best way is gonna be up the ladder and out the door. Now let's go get ourselves a grace real fast before we continue. There's a couple enemies here. Rush the Perfumer though. And then the other ones, they all have lightning urns, but they're pretty slow on the take up. We'll grab Smithing Stone. And we'll jump off and get this. Now there is an Erd Tree Beast. And looks like he wants to fight right now. I was really hoping to fight you later, but that's okay. We can fight him now if need be. Um, we're not going to fully rest because I don't want to reset. I want to, you know, all the stuff we've killed, I'm going to keep alive. If you have to, to rest here, that's okay, though. You know what? Is, is he going to even let me out? I don't know if he is. out of the way now. Lord's Rune. Um, head up these stairs. We we're just grabbing that grace real fast. I'm gonna head up this second set of stairs. Blow up those two guys. So right down here is that gazebo that we jumped down from. As you can see it's kind of like a circular path. So just to, to pull it all together. I probably should rest and make it daytime but capital's pretty easy to navigate at night. Um, this, Golden Room 8, and then we're going to go around this way, kind of southeast, and there's a couple different enemies you'll see. I'll take them out. And then up ahead, there is a gargoyle, so get ready to kind of run straight, and then juke to the left once he starts blowing his fire. A little bit of finesse, you'll do just fine. Take him down, and then pick up all of the goodies. Alright, um, let's see. We got the Holy Grease, activated the Grace, Southwest Path after the Knights. Turn left and go behind for two more easy kills, more loots after the Archer, and then some Knights and a Tarnished Sun Grace behind the Gazebo. So these are the two Knights I was referring to in my notes. Uh, this guy's going to patrol back and forth. Just ignore him for now and instead take this path. Take that guy out, and then we're going to go here for another one. One thing that's really nice about the capital, there's a lot of corners like this, and, you know, at first glance you'd think, like, oh, corners, that's bad, it's going to be hard to deal with, but it actually gives you a lot of just natural choke points to kind of pinch enemies into. See, a heavier weapon shuts down all their bullshit. They can't even get off casts. Animal Stone. Golden Rune. Kill you. We're going to jump down there in a second, but we're going to finish cleaning up first. I'm sorry, did I forget you? Leap and jump. 
this. Plunge and kill. Man, poor guy couldn't even put away his bow. This is crazy. We are absolutely shredding stuff. Oh, go on. I think we can just drop down here. Uh, this is like a sub sewer. It's not so there. There's a, an actual whole zone beneath this place, but before that zone, there's like a mini sewer portion. We're gonna knock out the mini sewer portion first, obviously. But this, we're just getting over and kicking that on down. Um, now there is a grace that's right inside that building if you like desperately need one for some reason. We're gonna get that later. There's no, you know, we don't need to get it right now. Um, I'd rather kind of continue through this portion of the capital for the time being. So, if you really want it, grab it. But we're, you know, we're gonna be there soon. It's best to not deviate from the path. Okay, so around the corner, there should be a guy with a horn. Kill him. There will be no call for reinforcements. I think we're all good. Go on over here. Real fast, we're just going to clear these guys out too since we're here. Pretty easy. Kill the one with the big sword first. I'm going to kill that one. When he does this, you want to roll after he thrusts it up. So what he's doing is he thrusts it and then lightning, and he thrusts it and then lightning. So it's very easy to get hit by that and popped multiple times, which doesn't feel good. You know, capital kind of spooky at nighttime. All right, so at these stairs, we're going to go around them for a loot. It's like a golden rune nine, I think. Eight. It's close. Let me uh, see. I'm gonna push my notes. Kill one soldier southwest for rune eight past the stairs. Okay, we're right there. Then we're gonna go up top for a beast and a perfumer. Uh, we're gonna put on our blood flame blade again. Or any, you know, anything. Uh, but we gotta fight another one of those beast things. And we're right here where we jumped on down. I'm gonna try and rush these two. Get a free hit on the perfumer. Aggression is the best solution. After that, we'll pick up this. We'll pick up this. Uh, over there, that's the Colosseum. We're going to go there later, so don't worry about that loop for now. I'm just kind of pointing it out for you. Uh, so, let's see. Do, 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 do. I think we can actually just warp out of here for now. We killed the soldier. We killed the beast. Uh, as you head northeast, the Great Tree Man will spawn. We already spawned and murdered him. Tarnished Sunflower behind the gazebo. Did I grab that? Probably did. Um, right there, you can see a piece of loot. That's one of the legendary armaments we need. We can't get it until later. We have to drop down from there onto that platform and jump over to there. So for now, just ignore it. We're going to get there. Um, instead, though, warp on over to Albanu Balcony. We're going to... We're going to reset things, make it daytime, so y'all can actually see. Of course, finally resting here. This would have happened earlier, but she just I tells us, like, hey, you got me here, I'm going to leave. I shall do farewell. I shall leave. I wish you luck. You have... I have no... She comes back, but you still get to keep Torrent, and of course, uh, the ability to level up stays yours. Uh, so, best time. Let's make it morning. It's just so dark. Though it is easier to spot loots at nighttime. Anyway, so going up here, let's recap and pull it together. So, right here, this is the southeast area of the capital. This is everything we just went through with the exception of the rooftops. We're going to do that in a bit. Going over this way, there are those dudes. The beast was up there. So now we're going to be going down the main road, and that's just involved just heading northeast. Right up there is where we came from. We want to get loot that's right here. Right across from that, there are some dogs guarding items. Wow. Press he didn't die. 
the old fangs. I don't think there's anything here, but I'm going to peek. Yep, right there. Um, you can go that way. It doesn't matter. It's just going to bring you back out to here. Uh, so continue along a little more. Uh, there's an item right here by the carriage. Little miss button press there. And right here, where we can see the grass, we're going to continue. Now there's a bunch of enemies up ahead. I'm going to toss on Blood Flame just because we're probably going to get zerked. One of them has a horn and he's going to alert the others. I would rush the big one first. Nice, great shield, bro. With the big one done, we're basically good. Now, if you start getting overwhelmed, just back up, and then you have a nice, beautiful, beautiful choke point. I mean, as you can see, most of these guys are fodder. So, you know, as long as the big one's dead, the rest are going to just fall. Uh, over here, we have a piece of candy. And then we go more this way. And through here. For a creepy imp head. Okay, now we're going to continue east. And we're going to pop open the giant door. Now, this is where we go when we are done the capital. When you are all finished with the, the capital and we're ready to go on to the next region. Uh, Morgoth's Divine Tower is also out this way. But there's really no reason to do it right now. Even if we proceed, we can't get a grace over there. So I'd suggest just leaving it. Uh, when it does come time to get to this place, it's going to be very easy to reach it from the rooftop route, which we're going to get into in just a little bit. So for now, just, you know, ignore it and we'll get there in time. Um, do, 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 do. We're going to return and go this way. Go right down the steps. We're going to just hit this to enable it. We're not worried about it for now. Just kind of turning it on. Actually, never mind. We should have saved you. I think I did want you for later. It doesn't matter. Just leave it. Uh, going this way, we have a crucible man. Y'all already know the drill with these guys. Give them the old dookie dookie. There it is. Which I suppose this would be a good time to show y'all Golden Parry. But I love carrying retaliation so much. How many times do we gotta teach you this lesson, old man? It's honestly ridiculous how trivial they become once you realize you can parry them. They were like my most hated enemy, and then once I learned that, I was like, oh, you're just like, you, you don't know how to do anything else, do you? Anyway, we're gonna take this elevator up. And this will bring us back to the entrance of the capital. Go on and pop this door open. Ta-da! So now we're going to haul ass to the rooftops, and we're going to do and get all the rooftop loots. Which is convenient, because, you know, we're at the rooftops. Um, every time I run past this guy, I'm going to kill him, just because I really want his weapon. I have it on, like, one save. I don't even remember what save it is. Give me your weapon. Uh, just run towards the gargoyle. Right when you get to the steps, you can jump off. Don't worry about them. Just jump over. And there's an imp. See how much those bubbles hit for. They hurt. Jump across. Jump across. More imps. Jump over. Some loot. Let me make my notes. Uh, one imp, two up. Uh, rune nine, and then we're going to jump across. Uh, we want to... Well, let's jump across first. You can see... Let's kill you. You can see that there's some loot right down there. We're going to come back to this. So just put a marker there for now, so you know like kind of where we're going. Uh, and instead, there's a couple other loots that are across the rooftops that we want. 
jump again and jump again and jump again and that'll get us the stone sword key grab that all right now we should be able to head on down right here that'll get us the smithing stone six go this way for a night I think he has a friend, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna obliterate this dude before he can do anything. Okay, so kill him. We go this way for some loot. Smithing six, kill the knight, golden roof off to the left, and then back to the rampart for the shortcut down. Very good. Back to the east capital rampart we go, and we are cruising along right now. It's just like, so much to cover. I mean, it's crazy. We did all that, and we still don't have enough for a level up. And you might be like, man, this place sucks. But you gotta keep in mind, we did Upper Kalid, we did all the underground zones, and a lot of those places, we were getting, like, smithing 8s, smithing 7s. We're getting mostly smithing 6s here, but, you know, the final boss in this area is worth a lot. It's 120,000, and beyond that are, like, the final regions of the game, so... I think it's better to just save it until you're comfortable. And even then, the lightning guys around here, they can, they can pack a punch, man. They hurt. So, this elevator doesn't really matter that we activated it. It's, as you can see, like a 10-foot drop. Uh, jump on the rooftops, though. More rooftop run in. Oh, no, I fail. I'm not going to touch any loots until I'm done with the rooftops. This area is filled with, like, putrid corpses, by the way. You can just, for the most part, just ignore the corpses. Go. Hip, hip, hoppity, hip. And there we go, the Black Bow, which unfortunately is not as good as it used to be. The Black Bow used to be a very iconic weapon in Souls. Uh, S-scaling and Dexterity was a super good bow. It doesn't get its S-scaling anymore. Instead, it's a, a, a shadow of its former self, which really sucks to see. Um, it does have Barrage, and it's a long bow, though, so, I mean, that's kind of nice. Uh, where are we at? So, this might actually be a good spot. Let me kill this one corpse. Make that two. Yeah. So let's make that three. I'm trying to end the video. Damn. So we're going to wrap up here. Uh, at this point, we've completed probably the, the beefiest portion of the capital. You know, from the East Capital Rampart, all of this stuff is effectively done. And now we have to do the lower capital type stuff, which can take a little bit. And then there's the Western capital type stuff. Um, so all together, I think, I mean, we're probably going to knock this area out, I'm guessing, in three videos. Um, but let's, let's stop from right here. We're right by the elevator. We're right by a shortcut. Excellent place to resume the video. And we'll be knocking out the stuff that's, you know, lower capital in just a little bit.